I'm just starting on my ASP. I'm just facing on my ASP. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Sorry, I got a bit of 21 on my mind. Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to Sephora's Horizon 5. Welcome to a new car. Well, we all just got it, actually. Every single person has, uh, has just gotten this thing. And it's the Ford Raptor R. So, apparently, we've all finished our off-road races, apparently. Um, <laughs> we got that. I think, still think, this is rigged. So, they just give us stuff as we're getting it. Like, just, just randomly. I, I don't think we're actually doing races to get these. I highly doubt that a lot more people are doing off-road races than they were doing the on-road races. Regardless, uh, we got the Ford Raptor. I don't want to play around with it in this video. The only one time that we actually messed around with this thing was when we were doing the rival events with it. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have it. Oh, it's in messages. Oh, I'm stupid. There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. I didn't claim it. Boom. All you have to do is just go into gifts and it's there. And you pretty much have it now. Boom. New Ford Raptor R. Let's uh let's take it out. Let's uh, let's take this thing out. There it is. Twenty twenty three. Seven hundred horsepower. Eight six eight newton meters of torque. Weighs two thousand seven hundred and fifty six kilos. It's a night light, nice and light truck, isn't it, boys? Well, I did say this when we were driving it in the rival event that this feels heavy, and it is, and it weighs about the same size. As, uh, I'm gonna stop talking. Yeah, this is it right here. I mean, <laughs> we pretty much already have Raptors in this game. We have like four of them. Sounds beefy though. Supercharger sounds nuts. Oh, I love that sound. That is such a good sound off of this thing. Again, we only had like a little. Oh, it so heavy. It feels so heavy. Now keep in mind, this also still has. <laughs> it takes like twenty-five minutes to sort it. It still only has the regular tires on it. I want to do stuff to it. If you haven't seen the video where I messed around with this thing, go watch the. It's called it's something to do with a new Mustang. Go watch that video, and you'll see me driving this thing stock. Let's do stuff to it because that's that's more important here. I think weight reduction is going to change this thing completely. It still weighs two tons, but I feel like it's going to change this, this truck completely. Off-road suspension as well, brakes, I'm going to just anything to do with handling, I'm going to change on this thing. I think power is not my concern here, it's just literally handling. These tires, big chunkies, love them, love them. What's my, my off-road handling is at 9.5 already, that's really good. That is really, really good. Still 9.5, 9.6. I don't really care about the on-road handling, but the off-road handling, obviously, is what I really care about. What are we looking at for aftermarket stuff here? Lots of light bars. Gotta love the light bars. That's very cool. None of these are adjustable, so we don't actually have adjustable downforce with the front end of this thing. And I don't really care, to be honest with you, about that. I do, however, want to give this thing as many lights as possible on it, because... Apparently that's, that's a cool thing to do, right? With pickups. I like this one. I think this is my favorite one. It has lights. Every Wait, did those lights that go backwards? Oh, please. Please tell me if we put it in reverse, the lights facing backwards actually turn on. Because technically they should. They are, they are auxiliary lights, right? But technically they should turn on as well. I don't know if I, which one I want more. I'm gonna put this one on. It has so many lights everywhere. I love it. I love it. We also have different engines. Racing V8. And the 7.4 liter V8 twin turbo, which we all know. We can also twin turbo this. Nah, the supercharger sounds so much cooler. I, I kinda wanna keep it. Like this, for the moment. And then probably adjust it and change things later on. But I, right now, I just kinda wanna keep it like this. Race diff. Um, let's squeeze as much power as we possibly can with this setup that we have here and see what we can do. It revs up so quickly. It's 
stock engine sounds so much better. I'm gonna build it up to, a to the top of A-class. I'm gonna build this thing to the very top of A-class. So, let's change a couple things here. We'll drop that. There we go. 879 horsepower, 2140 kilos, and it's at the top of A-class. I wanted to build it to the top of A-class because I know as soon as we start passing into S1, it's just not gonna be good enough. So, I'm gonna have to, like, twin turbo it or engine swap it or stuff like that. So, that's why I wanna try and keep it uh, to a specific class. Why is this still have the t t crappy 10 speed that we have in this? Can we? Can I just change it to a 6 speed? I mean, as soon as I do change it, it'll... <laughs> I don't want it to have that much... Like, yeah, I'm changing it. I don't really care. What can we really change on this thing to, to get rid of? There, perfect. Boom. I'd rather do that. We lose 6 more horsepower, but we also lose quite a lot more weight, which I'm I'm happy with. It's fine. Alright. Our off-road handling should still be really good. I want to bring this on a track where we just kind of stay off-road for, for quite a bit. I think El Descenso is one of them. That is one of the tracks that is purely off-road. Uh, our top speed is around 175, apparently, according to this. Okay. I don't know if this is actually going to be good or not. Yes! Yes! All the lights come on. I'm actually so happy. I'm genuinely so happy that all the lights come on when you put it in reverse. They actually did something good in this game. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> it still feels big and chunky and heavy, but... Oh, it's so much better. It is a billion times nicer. Good stock. I love it, man. It looks sick as well. Brakes are good. Everything's good on it now. Oh my god, it tr just transformed it completely. I'm bringing. I'm, I'm gonna bring it on the Elder Sensor track. I have to. I have to. It's just. I, I. I have to bring it there just to see what it's like. I don't think it's gonna be very good compared to the super crazy OP cars that we have going around on this track. The Scout, for example, being one of them. Colorado being one of them as well. Or not Colorado, the Chevy ZR2, right? That's 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 one of them. Yeah. X Class was at one stage a really, really good one as well. Um I'm gonna try and pin it against my X Class time that I have here, which is five hundred and seventieth in the world. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get close to it. <clears throat> I feel like there's things and whatever there's a couple of things maybe that we could change on this thing to maybe get it to be closer. I mean, right now, I'm just trying it just like this, just to see what it's like. Um, but I'm I'm expecting some crazy people to do some really good tunes for this thing. Obviously, not me. Um, okay, that should be fine. I'll put Breaking Line on, even though I don't think it makes too much of a difference on the cross-country events. But, yeah, especially on this one, since I've done many, many times before. Acceleration solid. I don't think my gears are long enough. No, my gears are long enough. I think the gears are fine. Oh, this has grip, boys. This has grip. It doesn't have the speed, but this has grip. Tons and tons of grip. Well, it doesn't have the speed downhill, but does that, does that mean that it doesn't have the speed here? Or maybe it does have the speed here. Mate, I can turn in so late with it. Nothing slows it down because it's heavy as hell. Still got like over a thousand meters of torque as well. I say a thousand meters or did I say a thousand newton meters? I hope I said newton meters. I think this is really good off road. I just don't know if it's good for this track. I feel like there's, there's, there's really OP cars for this track, but I don't think this is going to be one of them. I need to try find a different event, but I, I, I genuinely think that this has really, really good grip.
has really good grip and really good handling. Uh, it just doesn't have the power and speed in A-Class to compete with some beta cars. Like the X-Class, for example, that I've used for this. I mean, I'm very slow compared to it. But I'm pretty sure the X-Class has a significant amount more power. Eight seconds slower? I need to find a different track that, that I could actually use this thing on properly. I really like it. It is genuinely really, really good. It's not OP or anything like that. Not for that track, anyway. But I, I feel like this could be a really good a really good truck. What can we really use this for, though? That's what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a of one rival event that could this could genuinely be good for. Maybe something small? Nah, because the small ones are usually, like, packed full of... Maybe ones with jumps, which this one has. Uh, this one also has jumps, but it's tiny. Let's do this one. Let's try into this one. I don't, I don't know which, what, 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 tr what truck or vehicle I've used for this. Did I not use anything for this? I guess I've never tried it in X class or in in A class. That's fine. Let's try set a time with it in A class. That's perfect. That is perfect. I, I genuinely think that this has really really good whip. It just doesn't have the pick up and go. I guess. But the grip and handling of it, I really, really love. And I think the way I built it as well isn't, isn't bad at all. I think genuinely it just is the acceleration and the top speed of it that's it's kind of lacking a little bit. Where is blood going? Where is my man's going? Wasn't there like a bug? I think I swear there was like a bug where... Man, nothing slows it down e either, like... That's also a really cool thing about... About this thing. Cause it's so big and chunky and heavy. Nothing really slows it down. <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's bugged, um, and it, it, it used to let, oh god, Jesus, that was terrible. It used to let, um, times get through in, like, free mode or something like that. I don't know what it was, or in, like, a, a regular race or something like that. There was something about it that I've been told ages ago. And I remember, I remember it now. So basically some way you were able to set a time on a rival event when you weren't even like doing it or something like that I feel like people can correct me in the comments below on what I'm trying to say or, or explain it a little bit better because now I'm just kind of remembering like bits of, of what I've been told but that's why it, for some of these you'll see people driving like the opposite direction or just in random places but they somehow still have a time I mean, it's a, it's a flag time. It's never going to be like a good time or anything like that. Like, it's not, it's not like they're, whoa, I went too fast. It's not like they're cheating to try and get a better time. It's just like, weirdly bugged. It does kind of want to go a little wide though, if, I, if I'm not careful. Like, I do, I do push it really wide. Because I'm trying to keep my speed up as much as I possibly can, obviously. But at the same time, I, I need to kind of slow down for some of these corners so I don't do dumb things. 49.6? I feel like that's not really a great time. I mean, we'll have to see. Terrible decision with my gear changes. That's the best corner that I've taken there so far. Just wants to pick up and go as well. Doesn't want to slow down after landing either. You can hear it like chirping away as after it lands. The wheels like spinning still. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that felt a little quicker than before. Maybe going slightly sideways with it is a good thing.
Let's see. Is that good or bad? Oh, that's good. 48.8. Uh, oh, let's just take it. 48.8. Let's just take it. I'm not going to keep doing it because I, I feel like I'm just going to keep going faster and faster. Like, the more I get used to it. 48.8. <sighs> I don't I genuinely don't even know what to guess for the time on this thing because I don't know what's good and what's bad. Even my rival wasn't, like, doing anything. So, yeah, hopefully it's good. All right, let's have a quick look at the old rivals times. Um, here we go. A class. What are we looking at for A class then? I am top one percent. Okay, that's good. I'm scrolling down. Still see a bunch of cheated scores. Some jeeps popping up though. Some some actual legit scores. I'm way off, by the way. From being top 100 at least. What, like 3,000? Oh my god, I got it. So it's better than average. It, it is a, a better than average car. I want to do more things to it. I want to pimp this thing out. Like, actually give it as much power as possible. I want to see what it's, what it's capable of. I want to try it afterwards. With all of the power that I can possibly give it. So let's do that. There we go. What about now? What are we looking at now? It's at 882 in S1. There's nothing else that I can really do here, is there? <laughs> I guess this. We can put a gauge in it. Um, there really isn't anything else that I can really do here, right? Apparently the force speed is really good. Weirdly enough. I don't, I don't know why, but I guess it is. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I don't I don't think there is anything else that I can genuinely change on this thing to make it better. Different wheels, maybe? And get a slightly lighter wheels? Nah, it's fine. But this is about as high as as we can get it, right? What about the... Uh, what about the other engine? What about the... Uh, the other V8? Surely this one can be better. It's not going to make as much power, so I don't think... Like, I don't know why I'm even trying this. Yeah, 850. Nah. Okay. Uh, let's put the big boy engine back in it again. Uh, do I put anti-lag? I'm not going to put anti-lag in it. Alright. Let's try it like this. Adds a little bit more weight. But apparently that helps with grip. So let's try it out like this. I'm going to bring it over on... Should I bring it over on the same track? We can bring it on the same track. We can bring it on the same track. I mean, I don't, I don't think we need 230 mile an hour top speed. But I'm going to bring it on the exact same track and then try it again. I feel like that one, though, doesn't really need, like, a silly amount of horsepower, though. That's that's the, the thing with it, right? I feel like in, in this, in the case of this small track, you kind of just need grip around those corners and then that's it. Because especially for the last one, like, you just don't need power. Like, Ford Fiesta, I did a 45 second with, and I got 2.2k in the world. I'll select that as my ghost. That I genuinely don't think, like, I'm gonna be doing much faster than that. I, I just, I don't think, like, horsepower, like I said, again, it's just, I don't think it's gonna be a worthy thing for this. It's just, it's just not worth it. Alright, try to do a couple runs of it again, with the full beans, and see what I... What I can do here, but I, I genuinely don't think I'm gonna be able to do much. I'm also gonna go back. I'm gonna go back because I don't want to waste a lap here. Even though it's short. God, the acceleration on this is mental now. Oh my god, it's gone. It's so much faster than that Fiesta, though. I can't remember if someone sent me a tune or did I just try and beat it with the Fiesta. Because I do have a Fiesta that has a really good tune on it. Yeah, I think this one's more for like the little agile rally cars. I think this is this is not gonna be good for. 
I mean, like, this track specifically. It's not going to be good for, for these massive, massive trucks. It's actually not even doing too bad. I'm not that far behind. Well, 1.2 seconds behind. This is not bad. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, man. There's a little, little pixel that I crashed with you. That's sake. Like, Alright, we're going back all the way now. Ugh. Come on, man. Can't be doing me like that. No, oh, I messed up that corner. That's not what I did before. Oh, oh, have I figured it with this? Have I figured out the, 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 thr the throttle control with it? I think I figured out a bit of throttle control with it. And I think that's a new record. Absolute beast of a lap. So fast. Whoa. Crazy stuff. I'm actually just going to leave it there. <laughs> That's enough. As I beat my previous time. I beat my previous PB with it, which is weird. But I did. I feel like my driving in a Fiesta wasn't fantastic, but I'll take it. All right, I'll take it. It's not an OP truck or anything like that. I think it looks very sick. I think it's... It's cool that it's in the game, because I, I genuinely do like it. Um, but it's not going to be a people. I don't think so, anyway. It doesn't look like it is, even with my just slightly above average tuning. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be very OP for anything. Maybe it is. Maybe some people will prove me wrong, and it's probably a really good off-roader for a very specific track. But I'm not going to go and search every single track and see if I can get this thing to be OP. Let's check the final time on this thing, and then we'll leave it alone. I'll, I'll be finished with the Raptor R. Yeah, everybody should have it, so give it a shot. Let me know what you think of it. Um, yeah, where am I in the world then? Slightly faster than before, 2094th. Wow, crazy. Anyway, that's it for the Raptor. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.